Hey everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Salt and Sacrifice. So, I was on my way down to the bottom of Bolgaran when I took a wrong turn and I almost turned around actually because I thought this was going to lead to this uh, this dead end room that hadn't been useful so far. Um, but for some reason I decided, I, I wasn't completely sure I suppose, and I kept going and well, there's this guy who I'm pretty sure we've seen before, although I don't quite remember who exactly this is. So many bones, so much darkness. The guiltless shark you gave me. Oh, yeah. Oh, I, okay, I actually... Yeah, I think this is the guy I encountered in the smithy. The forge room in uh, Ash something castle. Hmm, yeah. The guiltless shark you gave me was helpful, but I fell in combat to a mage yet again. Yeah, I mean, it happens. Perhaps you've heard of an aromancer called Orsiris? Um, killed him, actually. I held on for held on for dear life, but the winds of uh, Eohe tore me from that tree. I fell so far, I even heard the sound of my skull exploding on a rock. You know, uh, I might have died the exact same way, to the same dude, possibly. But I didn't die. The Magebane Rite means I'll never die. I'll fall again and again and again. Uh, yeah, I mean, just be careful, I guess. Don't stand too close to edges near certain enemies and you should be fine. So, can I just give you another shot? Yeah. Sure, I don't use them myself, so... Oh, endless mercy. Thank you, and thank the gods. Hey, you're welcome, man. Just, you know, don't despair, please. You're gonna keep dying, it's, you know, it's just what it is. Alright, okay. I guess he must have... Yeah, I, I probably just never returned here specifically because I have no reason to. After I encountered him in the forge. So, I'm guessing now, since he moved from area 1 to area 2, that he's now gonna be in some previous previously unused space somewhere in the mire, which of course, oh boy, um, that leaves a lot of possibilities. I mean, I, don't, I can't think of any, any places that would make sense off the top of my head, but I'm sure there must have been plenty. Hmm, possibly down in the cave somewhere? I mean, really, just about anywhere. So that's gonna be fun. I, I guess I'll just re-travel the area. I mean, I su suppose I still have some places left to explore for the first time in the mire, so that's nice. I mean, we're gonna head there next after whatever I'll end up finding. Hi there, that was not very nice. Okay, wow. <sighs> what a series of events. Can we just get out of here, I guess? Is this where I want to be? Uh, yes, yes, actually. Huh. I thought I wasn't deep enough yet, but apparently I am. So I'm going to take this checkpoint here. Right, yeah, so, uh, as I said, we're, we're still not completely done exploring some places of uh, Corvius's Mire, so I'm not going to go backtracking looking for the guy yet, because there is a small chance, I guess, that we're going to find him in a place that we haven't been yet. Unlikely, I would say, I don't know, I have a feeling like he's most likely somewhere in the caves, but, I mean, I have no real reason to assume that. Also, I guess I was right in thinking... Huh, well, that's interesting. This is still sealed. Yeah, and... So, this is Praria, actually. Maybe I wasn't completely crazy in assuming that, and I had somehow determined that before. I mean, it would make sense that there must be a named Sanguimancer to hunt somewhere in here, right? Because, well, that is a mage type that we've encountered here, but we haven't seen the named version yet. And we haven't seen uh, those guys pop up anywhere else yet. Plus, of course, um, I have hunted other mages since, and the store here is still sealed. It still requires one more heart. So, that also means that there must be at least four more mages to hunt in... Uh, in uh, Dreadstone Peak, which I suppose we we do know two of those types, right? The Dracomancer, I guess, and Infernomancer, if or whatever they're called, and then two more. Huh. Well, uh, it's what it is. But that also means that, uh, well, yeah, that means that I will have to deal with the uh, the Mechanomancer in the mire. The mechanomancer, and more importantly, and more annoyingly, 
those uh, verdant guards. I mean, I, I guess I'll just have to face it and, you know, learn how to deal with them again. Now, anyway, this is the problem at hand, though, which is, honestly, I, I was not ready for this. I was totally expecting this one to be open. However, I have no idea where the Sanguimancer, if it, if it is him indeed, um, well, the the place to initiate the hunt for the Sanguimancer could be. Obviously, somewhere we've been before. Huh. But, I mean, those named mage hunts haven't typically... They, they've typically been always there, right? Unlike the, the nameless ones that seem to sometimes be there and sometimes not. I might just have to look that up, because it's probably just in a place that I've seen, but... And that I think I've completely explored. Probably somewhere up in the temple. Huh. Wait. That hint that I think Hera, I think it was Hera, gave us um, via via rumor. Like a blood a blood drenched secret lies underneath, or lies past a stone circle underneath the tomb temple. Did I just miss the, the mage hunt in that area? I will double check that one, because now that I think about it, I had to check that out. And, you know, blood drenched, obviously, Sanguimancer. Pretty obvious connection there. Huh. But, I mean, I didn't find anything interesting there. That's that, that's a thing that threw me off initially. But we should actually be kind of close to that place, this being the bottom of the temple. In fact, was it right here? I think so. Okay, the circle is here. So did I just miss something super obvious? Wait. There's a circle here. Did I ever activate that, actually? Oh yeah, I must have, because I couldn't otherwise have progressed. Never mind then. I've definitely been here. But there it is. What? That wasn't there before. That definitely was not there before. So is that just a glitch that it just didn't spawn? Or did I have to do something first in order to get this a trigger? Well, either way, it's here now. And yeah, Devourer Tour Vasari. Tier 12. Oh boy. That's going to be a thing. Because um, I've definitely had trouble with Sanguimancers of that level before. But it's been a while ago, so... I might be stronger. I should be stronger now. There's sacred magic in the blood that flows through every vein, and tampering with such magic is profanity. Tura Vasari is guilty of this crime. The Sanguimancer's heart, rich with pilfered blood, must be devoured. Hmm. Yes? I suppose so. Okay, well. I'm glad I actually figured this out on my own, honestly. And, you know, I'm kind of... Only, I'm mildly annoyed that the uh, that ritual site wasn't there before because I feel like it should have been oh oh I was looking at the mage and didn't see this little dude approaching me well these minions are annoying enough Uh, because they they can teleport and they're just kind of small and easy to miss. Okay, apparently, I don't know. Maybe they just turn invisible and don't teleport. No, I'm pretty sure they actually teleport. What? How did I not kill that guy while while he was still spawning? See what I'm talking about? They're super dangerous, actually, because you know, deceptively so. Yep, yeah. they'll just. Show up there. I mean, yeah. Try to run away to find a safe spot to heal. And you think you're safe, but then so suddenly that guy pops up right in front of you. Hits you in the face. Thankfully, you don't typically have to deal with... Uh... Oh, there's another one of these statues in the background. Maybe there is a meaning to them. Or maybe it's just a set piece used in this, in this area. Hmm. I don't know. Either way, I can't do anything with them, as far as I'm aware, so 
let's not worry about that for now. Yeah, thankfully, you don't typically have to deal with minions during the actual boss fight, though. So that's, uh, that's good, at least. I don't know, I, I want to say that sometimes they actually do summon minions. But maybe not. Maybe only when there are other enemies present, actually. That would make some sort of sense. I hate those guys. A little bit, at least. They're not the worst, I guess, but... Oh, well. Uh, yeah, you have to go. No. Missed. Okay. Got him, though. Okay. Ooh. Big gargoyle, dude, and that was a lot of damage. I almost rolled into it. Oh boy, this is gonna be something. Oh, and these guys are tough. Tanky, that is. Kind of slow and, you know, easy enough to dodge, I suppose, but still. I should be getting to another checkpoint up here somewhere, right? I think there is one. Okay, not this way. Above here, I want to say? Maybe? Oh, grab that, please. Um, hmm. It's a pressure plate. It's so devious. I mean, you can see it when you scroll the camera, or while you're approaching. But it's actually, when you're setting right here, it's basically hidden by the foreground. I mean, I know it's here now. After lots of painful experience. Wow, what? Really? Oh. Did not expect to get hit by that one. I thought, oh, okay, there it is. I thought there was a checkpoint somewhere nearby. I'm glad I was not completely wrong. Grab that. Down to eight healing items, which is still fine. I mean, it might not be for the fight we're about to face, but... So... Okay, well, that was great. <laughs> I don't know what I was trying to do there. Well, we have to deal with that guy. Yeah, get chopped up, please. That's fine. Although, at this rate... Yeah, okay, well, he's just peaced out, I suppose. That's That works, and I completely... Ran into that trap there. Well then, uh, this is awkward. Okay. He's just get staggered or something. Uh. All right. Yep. Yeah. I hear the heartbeat. I guess we might have our. Showdown in this famous place. Hmm. Right? Or is this not the place I'm thinking of? No, I guess it's not. However, there is a checkpoint. I guess even more conveniently placed right here. Lots of healing materials as well. Definitely gonna need those. I mean, it's a bit of a way, but it's just a straight line, so I think that is more convenient than climbing up the temple, dodging traps and whatnot, yeah, for sure. Assuming the fight is actually just inside this main hall here. But we're about to find out. Up these stairs. Oh, didn't expect to get him right there. Oh, we actually stared him here. I mean, I don't know if that any use at all. Also, we have a Thaumomancer? Yeah. Oh boy. I really don't uh, want to deal with you, though. Oh god. Hitboxes. Now, where is our target, actually? Wait, where is our target? Oh, out that way. Didn't see the trail there for a second. 
Okay, he's here now. So not technically in our way. Wait, the fight must be here though, right? Where else could it be? something. And back up again? What? Oh, higher up even. <sighs> Down to two healing. That's not great. And I doubt all that damage I dealt, including that grapple attack, makes any real difference. But we'll see. Ah, here we go. Okay. Uh, at least it's still not that far away from a safe point. Well, he was he's not actually missing any significant health and he's still just as annoying as ever. What are you doing actually? Okay, summoning so those things. Oh god. Dodge through that and I press the button to dodge again. But too late, I suppose. Out of that. Oh no. We're still in the, the bow animation. And he turned around instantly. That's not great. God, aiming in the heat of combat is just. Oh, what? That thing. I forgot he could do that. Um. Um. <laughs> yeah. It's not gonna work. I'm gonna die to something stupid. Ah, oh, yeah, like that almost instant attack. I mean, I I saw the animation, but I had already pressed the attack button, so no chance to get out of that. <sighs> yeah, these guys are just so rough. Just the combination of their like very long range um, and. Uh, sometimes completely screen covering magical attacks. Wow, that's rude. Uh, and then their lightning fast melee hits and combos, especially. Like, it's really, really tough to even get, you know, an attack in and find time to heal and whatnot. <sighs> At least a way back is easy enough. Hey, block on blade. Go home, you're drunk. And he's also, you know, not damaged at all. Jesus, give me a break, man. Wow, just wow. I mean, you see what I mean, right? This is just, just really rough. I guess I could try blocking, technically, but without a shield. I suppose this attack, when I'm close enough, uh, when I'm not too close, rather, but I'm far enough away. <sighs> instant turnaround. Yeah, I mean, he always does that twice, I guess, so I should know. Yeah, but this blood sphere attack gives me a chance to, to heal, I suppose, when I'm far enough away. Okay. trying to do here. Didn't get it poisoned either, so that's not great. Oh, I uh, got him staggered though. Nope, yeah, 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 I knew it. I should have known. And this is the, the ultimate combo. <sighs> tried to get away from it, but didn't happen. Oh well. Okay. Seems like the Thalmomancer has pieced out at least. That's. Nope, never mind. Well. Oh, come on, man. Just get out of here. I'm not gonna fight you. 
I know you want to, but I don't have time for you right now. Well, too bad I can't just pre-generate any rage. Because, yeah. I would really, I would definitely appreciate that extra bit of damage if I could get it, but, you know. Nope, poison. <laughs> nope, and the combo! It's just so bad, yep. It is just that bad. Maybe he can't be poisoned. I guess that wouldn't be too surprising for a vampire. Nope. Super combo, and he turns around. Did not get away in time, and he did get me with the blood blast. And he combos again, <laughs> and again. He just never stops attacking. Give me a break. Literally. Nope. Yeah, of course he was going to turn around. I know that. This fight is easy, en uh, easy enough. Hard enough. When I don't... just keep forgetting... the simple rules. I mean... simple, but... Try to dodge to the other side. Okay, this... This is useful. Yeah, I mean, okay, I ended up taking damage. I need my stamina. Okay. I kind of want him to... Summon more of these things, yeah, okay, but... <laughs> oh, wait. Do I, though? Yeah, yeah. Nope! It's gonna freaking come on me to death. Can't believe it. I wasn't even out of stamina. I tried to dodge into the other side, but I guess I was just stunned from attacking for, you know, a few frames too long. And that was that. It definitely seems like my bow is not doing anything to him. Of course, I don't have an alternate bow. It's cold and poison, yeah. And these Sanguomancers are... I mean, does it matter? I, I guess I just don't... I just can't poison him, so that's that. I could try throwing... Um, I've actually heard, or read, rather, uh, that fire damage, fire over time, is almost overpowered, perhaps. Like, throwing knives with, with fire damage seem to be considered a way to just burn everything to death. <laughs> well, literally. Just burn bosses. Um, Sanguomancer is dark and poison, I guess. Yeah, so him being poison elemental makes sense. Why he wouldn't be... Uh, why he would be immune to poisoning, or just extremely resistant, I guess. Yeah, so, I mean, I have this, of course. I have Phlogiston and Fire Bombs, but... Switching between items and just using items in combat, actually, <laughs> in the heat of combat. Do I see myself doing that? I mean, I guess I can give it a try. I guess I can. Well... <laughs> We'll see if I can, but yeah, I can give it a try for sure. <clears throat> okay, this time my salt is over there. No, nope. oh god, I didn't actually grab it. That's fantastic. Okay, I somehow got out of that one. And he gave me a chance there. Uh, remembering how to use items <laughs> in the heat of combat. That's how. I guess he is burning. Oh, 
I missed. Uh oh, uh oh, dodge right into that stuff. And that hit me. Ah! <laughs> Hmm. And did the fire do anything? I suppose it... He did burn, but um, the thing is that most of those damage over time debuffs you. Little jerk. Don't last very long. And this one in particular didn't seem to be dealing a ton of damage. I guess the idea with throwing knives is that you're probably... You know, or, yeah, I guess specifically uh, fire throwing knives. Is that... Um, you can probably throw them pretty quickly. Oh, and thus apply multiple stacks of fire damage all at once. And then it keeps ticking for more than one damage. And, you know, obviously damage over time ticks very quickly, so... I can absolutely see that... how that's very... how that has a chance to be very powerful. Oh yeah, okay, so then those in the wrong direction, that works. Try to play it safe and heal here. Okay, that was the blast. I can never quite tell what he's about to do. That combo, though. Get out of there! Blast? Yeah, okay. I thought so, but I, I mean, I wasn't entirely sure. Yep, uh, I thought I was far enough away from that one. Clearly I was wrong. Oh no, there's a stupid thing in the way. Heal. Melee combo? Well, melee jump. No, turn around, you idiot! Nope, I wanted to dodge. There as well. That's the blast, okay. Blast from the past. Heal and hope that those things are not in the way. They weren't. Blast, okay. Ah, and he, in, he instantly follows up with that. Almost every time, or maybe even every time. I feel like that... I should have been able to dodge that one, or rather I should have predicted that happening and not been there when it happened. But oh well. I was getting hopeful there for a second because that attempt seemed good. I mean, I guess I... Maybe I just need to be less aggressive and just focus on dodging for the most part. Get attacks in whenever it seems safe. I mean, basically, when he uh, casts a spell and I can attack him from behind. Because that means that, you know, yeah, like this. Because casting a spell means that he's not gonna use a melee attack right away, or, you know, for a couple of seconds. Okay, he follows up with the combo again after the blast. Nope, nope, that was, that was really stupid. And this damage, the damage that deals is just nuts. Yep, combo. Nope, that was just a blast, I thought it was a longer cast. Last, and he's gonna follow up. That's not. Are these shots actually not dealing any damage at all? Like, there should at least be base damage, right? Maybe he's just completely immune to that damage. Combo. I mean, it's nice that he typically does that in the opposite direction, but he does end the combo with a with a stab for which he turns around, right? Okay. Should be safe-ish here. Well, I wasn't. I could have been. Ah, okay. It's fine. Okay, that's uh, a longer animation. Get a few hits in. I mean, if I, if I can keep this up, that can work, you know? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> nope. Ah, 
wrong way to dodge. Absolutely wrong way. Nope. Here again. Nope. Haven't seen him do that one in a while. He turned around. Of course he does. That's that one. Yep. Last and combo, so he literally always follows that up. And of course, I sometimes just, well, sometimes screw up all the time and take hits every now and then. I, would, I wish I could reliably. Oh no! Oh no! That's really bad. I wish I could reliably switch to switch items in combat and you know not get completely mixed up in my my buttons. Oh, no. Then he does this. Gave me a chance there to get some damage in. <laughs> oh, there we go again. No, nope, that was... He was not frozen in place for as long as I thought he would be. Those turnarounds, man. <laughs> yeah, okay. So I'm. Again, playing it safe seems to be the way to go. Like, as in, you know, waiting for opportunities rather than trying to be aggressive, because that has just not been working out for me. Um, the thing is, of course, yeah, I, I just can't mess up as much as I, I'm still doing. I feel like it could almost. I could be almost uh, guaranteed to to do it if I literally wait for him to to cast the um, either the balls or the smaller balls with a blood lightning or whatever and like only hit twice and then get out and dodge everything else. The thing is, doing that would um, cause the fight to take like ten minutes. Blast the combo. Yeah, okay, and I immediately stopped doing what I said I should be doing. Because why would I listen to my own advice? <laughs> that would make sense. Blast the combo. And technically this would give me time to throw a firebomb or two. But yeah, in trying to do that, obviously I'm much more likely to just end up taking damage. Combo. Jump. Blast. Oh, ah, of course he turns around! Three attacks during this one. Blast. Oh, of course. He blasts the wrong way, but... Not sure what I was thinking. Nope. Dodged the wrong way. And I tried to dodge in time, but... Well, I didn't. <sighs> okay. Focus on dodging. And dodge again. Okay. Again. Wow, okay. That just sometimes doesn't work out. I was mashing the dodge button there, but um, the second one just didn't come out in time. No, no! Why was you why were you caught on the wrong side of him? No sense. No, 
charge away. Okay, blast. Use a small healing item. Two, three. I guess I'm gonna dodge this way. Yeah. So there's. I don't know. Maybe there was a little bit more room this way than the other way. Let's blast. Combo, he should not reach me here. Okay. Nope, I was on the wrong side again. Didn't dodge it far enough through him. Okay. One, two, three. Dodge this way. Yeah, I mean, again, so long as I actually focus on, on doing this, following my own advice, it seems like a pretty safe method, but it just takes forever, of course. And anything that takes forever just creates more opportunities to screw up out of carelessness, out of, you know, losing focus. I really wish he would use those uh, large globules more, because they're less awkward to dodge. I mean, they're, I basically don't need to dodge them at all when I'm on the correct side that is behind him. So that's a definite advantage over the smaller ones that will potentially create awkward situations. Out of there, right... If I had a bow that could actually damage him, I suppose I could. Well, I mean, I would return, I suppose. Oh, that's, yeah. That's, that was a bit of an unusual situation to be in. So I was too close to him, I suppose. Yeah, anyway, if I. I would go and, and pick up another bow, but then, then I would have to start the hunt over. And yeah, I kind of don't want to do that, so. We're dealing with this. Oh. Nope. Nope. I almost completely screwed up there. I might still be screwed. We'll see. No, I didn't know. Okay, you did that one. Last again. Yeah. Just one of these. Didn't get stuck on the wrong side. Oof, almost did this time. Okay, I check only twice here. It's a blast again. This is it. This is it. Yeah. Oh, don't don't die here. Just <laughs> give me the prompt. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, I still hope that this guy is absolutely awful. <laughs> Sanguinizer achievement. Yeah. Thanks. Let's never fight one of these guys again, ever. <laughs> Which I suppose means that I'm never going to finish my second playthrough because <laughs> screw this guy. Well, I mean, I don't know. I guess actually. This might be a fight where I can see um, a character who can block be at an advantage, because all those melee attacks are, you know, what were what was causing my main troubles here. Anyway, um, needless to say, I could have had this, this victory a lot sooner if I had just followed my own freaking advice and not tried to be clever or just rush things, which in the end, of course, did not help. More often than not, that has the opposite effect. And I know that, but, you know, it's... So often, of course, it's it's 
so hard to to act on your own on your own good advice, let alone other people's. But yeah, well, it's what it is. Uh, I did it eventually. Holy crap! Forty minutes. I don't know. I guess I spent at least twenty-five of those fighting this guy. But at least it's done, and we have unlocked that final door now. Presumably final. I feel it now. The blood draining from my wasted body. You think they'll be proud of you? Uh, it doesn't matter. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Everyone you interact with in Partners Vale is keeping close tabs on you, and every mistake you make is reflected in every single word they speak to you. No, it's not. They, The words they speak to me hardly ever change. You've slain many of us, but how many times have you fallen? Um, At least as many times, but it doesn't matter because I can come back and you can't. In your face. Surely your disappointments are noted, noted and acted upon. What? Consider your friends at Partners Vale, because to me, they seem like no friends at all. Yeah, they don't really seem like friends to me either. I mean, the stable hand is cool, he saved me. Everyone else is just kind of there and just, you know, taking my money and my upgrade materials, I suppose. And I take things from them. I don't know what what this, this guy is trying to get at. Trying to, I don't know, get me to doubt myself or something, but I mean... I'm doubting myself plenty already, so uh, he's really, I don't know, he's just not getting anywhere. Uh, they could be showering you with silver, brilliant armor, sharp weapons, troves of mage salt. Well, I mean, they do. Not salt, but the other things. They do this to other Inquisitors. No, they don't. But not you, curious. Dwell on that. No, I'm not going to dwell on that. I'm going to dwell on the fact that you're dead, finally, and I'm never going to have to deal with you again, ever. Ugh. What a freaking jerk. Okay, you know, I'm... Uh, am I out of here? Oh, I, just... Leave me alone, dudes. Uh, this guy? No, that's not the one, the one that was here before. Not that I would have wanted to fight that... Uh, Falman Lancer. I mean, once again, the rational thing is definitely to return to... Partners veil because I'm literally at the starting point. But you know, what is 43,000 salt? It's two levels worth. That's where it is. And I just want to get this over with at this point. That, that was slightly draining. Slightly soul draining, almost. Oh god. Uh, well, thanks for killing the spider. It's appreciated. Anyway, we're here already. Oh. Give me those. Really don't know how many healing items I used up during that encounter. Those, the series of encounters. Quite a few, though. That's for sure. Here we are. Please be short and really, really good. <laughs> oh. Well, it is extremely short, much shorter than I thought. I thought I saw something over that way. I mean, I do see something there, but I guess that's just probably the like the the edge of the of the map. Ooh, in the very bottom left corner there, there are candles. But um, as far as I'm aware, there is just no more level that way, right? All the temple is above here, and this is the bottom of the map. Huh, interesting. Anyway, uh, two nameless mages, I presume. Yep. Nameless Necromancer. Necromancers are fine, no problem. Right? It's actually been so long since I fought one of these that I don't really remember. Jeweled Crown. And Nameless Sanguimancer. <laughs> no. Level 15. Are you kidding me? Well, we're not getting that one, that's for sure. <sighs> Bloodstone Head. I mean, I guess I might just do this one off camera because uh, Void Pair and Moss Pair clusters are nice. Although, of course, they're not guaranteed, so uh, knowing my luck, knowing how much this fight is going to suck, I'm definitely not going to get lucky and get any of that. Um, the thing is, I mean, as we saw, so long as I just take my time and keep my cool, the Sanguimancer is doable. It's just It, it just takes a, a long time if you just keep waiting for those safe-ish opportunities, those mostly safe opportunities. I mean, I mean, this one just now was level 12, this one's 15, or 
tier 15. So I guess quite a few levels higher. So uh, getting hit would be even more devastating. But again, it, it, I mean, I know it's doable, it's just a matter of patience. So maybe I'm just going to do this one off camera just to get that out of the way and, you know, ideally not also trying to commentate at the same time might help with that focusing part. So it might not end up being that bad. However, I am not doing this right now. This one... I mean, honestly... Maybe. Somewhere up there. In fact... Well, obviously we've fought necromancers before. I've fought necromancers on camera before. So... Oh, didn't expect that to hit the guy below, but I'll take it. Um, yeah, so I don't need to do this on camera either. Um, I'm really only... Well, I'm doing it for the salt, I suppose, chance at materials. And also helmet, because I'm still kind of looking for, for something to replace this, this ridiculous hydropod head with. Uh, by the way, did I show off upgrading this to the next level? Because I might not have. This is at level 8 now, with uh, a new symbol. Yeah, I guess I might have done that off-camera, actually. If I didn't, well, I suppose that's fine. Um, yeah. Yeah, right, okay, I remember. I picked up uh, Void Peer clusters, actually. Um, somewhere above... Yeah, somewhere on the way to the to the crashed ship in uh, Dreadstone Peak. And it turned out that this was the one item that used those clusters. Um, however, the next level up actually requires a different type of material. I don't remember which one. Um, yeah, anyway. So I could only upgrade it this far. Um, right. What was I talking about? Yeah, anyway, I, I think after this after this Sanguimancer experience, I just need to take a break. So I'm going to make this one a bit of a shorter episode. Uh, we have now fully explored this map and finally finished the final mage hunt here. Uh, so that's neat. Um, and once I'm done with these two remaining nameless mage hunts, which, again, I might just do off-camera. I mean, Necromancer, absolutely. Sanguimancer, we'll see how I feel about that. Um, once I'm done with the, the Necromancer. Uh, either way, I'm going to do those off-camera, and uh, next time we can finally move on to the Mire and maybe finish off that area. Yeah, that means I'm going to have to face my fears again, basically, and deal with um, the Verdant Knights, but, you know, it's going to happen eventually, so might as well get to it. For the time being, I thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment, and I shall see you real soon. Bye-bye.